are trying a new format with the videos to see if we can get through this um, issue that Facebook is giving us that cuts out some of our video. I would like for those people who are in Johnson County to be aware that there was a situation this morning where the county commissioners were considering an issue that um, in part to consider a radical environmental Marxist Kansas City action plan that would take away your vote and give control to the economy of the economy to the Mid-America Regional Council. Now this is something that we had with the land grab meetings that we were talking about. Angel Cushing and Norman Kincaid spoke about these regional councils and how they would dictate things in these National Heritage Area designations. For instance, Flint Hills Regional Council pushed zoning and planning in Lyon County, Kansas. And some of that zoning and planning included outlawing barbed wire fences, outlawing electric fences and putting public trails across private property. Well some of that got stopped, thank goodness. However, these regional councils are non-government organizations that are non-profits and there's no way to keep track of what they're doing. You, can send a you can't send a Freedom of Information Act and get information say on the finances or on what they're doing because they're a non-government entity and being a non-profit <laughs> you can't get the information you want so this is the way that the federal government gets around forcing things through without legally being have to, sh to say hey yeah through Freedom of Information Act giving that information out we warned you. Now it's happening. We were also told by the board of the Kansas-Nebraska Heritage Area Partnership that this designation had nothing to do with 30 by 30. However, when you look at SB Senate Bill 1942, it takes Congress out of the picture and gives the Department of Interior the control to manage the National Heritage Areas. Yeah. And so the Department of Interior is also administrating the 30 by 30. So the National Heritage Areas and 30 by 30 are just opposite sides of the same coin, so to speak. The proof is in this County Board of Commissioners meeting here with the Marxist Kansas City Action Plan. It's all in the name of the New Green Deal. These regional councils are going to tell you what you can and can't do. So much for your freedom. So much for private property rights. This is a serious situation, people. We have had a lot of... Um, people out there talking about this. We've warned you. And now it's happening. Lincoln County, Kansas has a comprehensive plan being put forth through the North Central Kansas uh, Planning Commission. And we know the head of that Planning Commission is all for the Kansas-Nebraska Heritage Area Partnership. Now everybody put, says, oh, this, this part, this heritage area is all about tourism and economic development. Right. You know, Freedom Frontiers National Heritage Area, there's only one county in all those counties in that designation that benefited from the money. And that was Douglas County. The rest of the counties, you know, they have to have that many counties just to get that much money. And, and, and they're not being held accountable for what they do with the money. 97% of the money that came in in 2019 was taxpayer dollars. 54% from local and uh, county. And the 43% uh, from federal. 
They're supposed to be self-sufficient people, and they're not. And they have 15 years to do it, and not one of them has been able to do it yet. This is being pushed through to push the New Green Deal. 30 by 30 pushes the New Green Deal, and I've got paperwork here, information on the 30 by 30, that uses the Center for American Progress report, and the lands that are going to be targeted for this include national parks, wilderness areas, permanent conservation easements, state parks, national wildlife refuges, national monuments or other protected areas. Well, those other protected areas fall under National Heritage Areas and CRP. Guess what, people? Screwed, blued, and tattooed has uh, meaning here. It's time to get our heads out of our backsides and start pushing back because Kim Wilson's pushing this designation hell-bent on doing it, even though we have 45 of 49 counties in the proposed area that oppose it. Why is she doing this? Because she's going to be one of those people on that non-government organization that's going to be telling you what you can do with your land and what you can't do with your land. Do you want to live in a homeowners association that tells you what color to paint your house or to clean up your mess? Or if you have an old car sitting out there, you got to haul that off. Or being told, no, you can't build a new fence. And if you've got barbed wire fence, you got to get rid of it. Doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. But when you start looking at this uh, Mid-America Regional Council's trying to push forward, it's not going to be long before it's in uh, the Kansas-Nebraska Heritage Area Partnership if that thing goes through. Lincoln County, Kansas... This is not about economic development. This is about control of the farm and ranch land. This is all it is. You need to wake up. And you need to act. We've got to stop this. And the only way we're going to stop it is at the local level. Now we've got a meeting coming up in October. And I'm not too pleased with who we've got for the the chairman of the committee but anyway um, because I think there's some conflict of interest there and that's my opinion and you can have whatever opinion I mean I'm I'm still gonna treat the guy nice I'm not gonna be nasty about it but it's in my opinion I think that it's conflict of interest but we've got this committee meeting coming up and I'm gonna testify if I have the opportunity to uh, that this 30 by 30 is not beneficial to the state of Kansas. In fact, it's intrusive to our property rights. And that this, this whole thing with these uh, uh, regional councils um, has to be brought up. National heritage areas have to be brought up as part of this 30 by 30 because it's looking more and more like that's what they're going to do. So going from no it's got nothing to do with 30 by 30 to oh well when you look at S Senate Bill uh, 1942 yeah National Heritage Area and the 30 by 30 they may not be the exact same programs but they're very closely related so you need to pay attention folks so with that being said it's up to you to get yourself educated and to do what you gotta do to help get this stopped